welcome to the second show of Plant Reapers Vlogs. I'm your host, Peter Elijah Lim, education major and narrative arts minor, English, communications, and visual arts. I'll be taking you back in time, reflecting upon my experience at St. Norbert College in De Pere, Wisconsin as a freshman to sophomore of fall 21 to fall 22. Here we go. George, Mr. Steven, Jelly Billy Lalo Nolan, Pit Director, Chris Hedginson, Dope, Margaret White, Freddie, Choreographer, Miss Gardner, Carrie White, Susan.
it's got to be one of the most exhausting ways to get to the top of that ramp. It's kind of wild to think. He doesn't get any other chance on this ramp. He wants to get rolled in and he can build in front of him. He doesn't get any other opportunity as this doesn't exist in nature. These gigantic, enormous ramps out here only happen in Nitro Circus and the Nitro World Games. So the fact he's willing to get up and put his body through this yet again is absolutely a testament to just how much of a superstar Rock Aaron Wheels fathering him really is. Absolutely, and like I said, it's one of the hardest ways to get up there, so when he gets up there, he has almost no chance to catch his breath, he's got to strap right in, and as you said before, he's got no exit strategy, he is literally seat belted into that wheelchair, so if things go bad, most of the time you want to get as far away from your vehicle as possible, he can't, he's got to ride it out and just take it for what it is. Exactly, and this is the mindset of action sports, anybody out there that's new to the game, this would eat at him all night long, if he didn't get another chance, to go out there and do what he was put on this earth to do, it would absolutely torture him. Wheels is willing to put his body one more time up that absolutely dangerous structure with no benefit. There's no easy way for him to get up. Someone carries the chair. But tonight, he wants to do something special for Appleton, Wisconsin. He's going to give it a second go, taking a huge slam. He wants redemption. Everyone's their own worst critic, and he knows that he can do better. He knows that he can pull this. So he's going to go and give it everything he's got. Dude, it's hard. You know, it's absolutely difficult to come out and not pull your first one. But this is what wow, action sports is about. There's no coaches. There's no color scheme. Redemption is all on your own. So for him to want to go out there and put it, that's a 40-foot gap for him. Yeah. 
time to wrap the video up with some special guests of SNC. Hello, my name is Catherine Day. I knew Peter through SNC, particularly through St. Norbert College Overseas Organization that I happen to be president of at the moment. He just was always helping out whenever he could. He was doing everything at once, whether that be a full coursework, uh, going to different organizations, different clubs, trying to help out, trying to take part of after activities, helping international students, ESL students. He was just what you would call a busy bee, and truly, I just miss having him around and seeing a positive attitude on campus. Hello everybody, good night from Malaysia. I'm Omar Koyum from Malaysia and I am truly honored to be a part of this Peter Lim's SNC reflection video. Um, so first I want to talk about how Peter and I got very well connected on the first few days of my staycations in St. Norbert. I think most partly it's because of how Peter is partially or halfly Malaysian because of um, his father and how interested he is to understand and to know more about Malaysia. Also, I think my stay for four to five months in St. Albert College taught me very well of how to be more understanding and appreciative of differences among the, among the people there. So I hope Peter 
have a very good time in the new place and wishing you guys all the best for your future endeavors. Bye. Hey everyone, my name's Emily and I'm a student at SNC. Now I cannot speak for how Peter Lim is at St. Franciscan, but here at SNC he was Peter Lim or THE Peter Lim because he was quite literally involved in almost everything and even created his own club for a little bit. Now, the main way I got to know Peter Lim was through ballroom, specifically because we were both on the e-boards for it. I am the secretary and he used to be the PR person. In addition to that though, we were also both ed majors, so we shared a couple classes there and hear about that, so yeah. Hello, my name is Yuri Bogdanov and I'm gonna be talking about Peter Lim and how he's shows communal values at St. Norbert College and outside of college work as well. Um, I've, been a, I've been a community student since uh, 2001, so getting to know Peter um, has been a great source of emotional support along with mental support while we were studying uh, together. And to begin, I guess, um, looking back, Peter has been involved with many different organizations. Ballroom Club is the one that he expressed most enjoyment, I believe. And he's also been a great painter who gave who gives um, his paintings to his friends over at the Multicultural Center and um, sometimes even sells them. So I think it's really great that he connects with other people and I hope that he continues to do so. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jenna Benish. I'm a sophomore psychology student at St. Norbert College and Peter Lynn made a huge impact on me because he showed me how important it is to be involved with so many different things to really make an impact on the school. Hey everybody, my name is Nicholas Gadel and I'm a sophomore at SNC. I first came to know Peter through Ultimate Frisbee Club because that's what I, that's kind of my main club that I participate in and I kind of realized that Peter was all over the place. He was in every club on campus. He was involved in everything. And we're really going to miss you, Peter. You are such an inspiration to us all. Do you have any recommendations of people to be special guests on this vlog? If so, contact Peter Lim at peter02lim at icloud.com or simply like and subscribe this YouTube video. Bye.